Hello YouTube. Right now I just want to do a quick review on an application since I don't normally do application reviews. However, um, I I think you guys would like this one since um, I'm usually an iPhone or a an iPad user and stuff like that and I don't have any problems with that kind of keyboards. However, when it came to Android, um, I, I, I had trouble when it comes to texting and stuff. Uh, I keep messing up a lot. So, I hated using my, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my Dell Streak 5, but I hate, I hated using it for emailing and text messaging. But after I down, I tried several keyboards and all of them were a waste of money. And then finally I came across one that's called Thumbs. And it's this one up here. It's Thumbs keyboard, and phone or tablet. And, um... That one was actually, like, switched my whole perspective when it came to texting on my Android device. And I will show you on my Dell Street 5 and on my, my Touch 4G. doesn't have a SIM, but whatever. <coughs> so let me just start. Um, first of all, let me just show you the standard keyboard when it, came, when it comes to the... <laughs> the original software one. Let me just remove thumbs and um, let me just go to search bar or whatever and do a quick search on um, as you can see it's the space bars on the bottom is real small and it's kind of like leaning more towards the right side so whenever I would um, text or whatever I would always wind up either clicking on this one or clicking on that one on the period or the comma whenever it came to spacing and um, thumbs keyboard actually um, changes all that and I'll show you how let me just go ahead and activate it so you guys can see you go to language and keyboards and then I activate it it gives you the warning which is like normal warning and um, it gives you a whole lot of ways to to set up your your keyboard it gives you themes and um, whether you want feedback, sound, um, whether you want the full screen or the the half screen or whatever, it you can even choose the dimensions of your of your your buttons. You can either make it real large or small or whatever. <clears throat> and and themes right now, I'm trying the iPad one, and you get several gingerbread and um, honeycomb and stuff like that. Then you go to like the the layout and you can choose your layouts for either portrait or landscape mode and um, let me just show you portrait I have it under the 7 inch layout and then on landscape I have it under the phone or tablet you could use the phone split so two large separate or um, standard or whatever so you want to test it out first you have to activate it in input method and then you just click on thumbs and then when you go in there as you can see it gives you a completely different layout which makes it kind of easier um, and it gives you two space bars and it gives you the arrows so you can like instead of having to click on the screen and try to aim correctly in between each letter or whatever you can use the little arrows and stuff And um, you can either click through the hours and search and delete or whatever, <laughs> which is very good for web browsing as, uh, as well. And then I like the two space bars, which kind of like makes it a lot easier. I don't. I tend to like make less mistakes with them and stuff. And uh, if you want to view it in landscape mode, it's the same. And it's uh, this gives you this big um, space bar, and then. Um, my name and then uh, several stuff like that it's a lot easier and it gives you the arrows as well so um, if you want to try a different layout let's try landscape layout under the um, seven inch layout and just test it so you can see it it works and it give and this one it gives you the numbers it gives you the arrows over here and the, the, um, the keypads are different but it still gives you the space bar and it's still quite useful except um, I prefer the 5 inch layout for the Dell Streak of course and then 
I'm going to switch that back. And then let's view it under my My Touch 4G. I already have it set up here, so um, let's go to, as you can see, it's the same layout as it was on my Dell. Um, however, it's a smaller version, more compact version. And um, it's easier to type with whatever and space barring numbers and stuff like that so that's what I wanted to show you guys because um, in case you, those of you who are having the same kind of issues as I am this is a great application for you guys to try out so don't forget to rate comment um, any questions go ahead and ask it I'll, I'll reply to you guys as soon as possible and thank you good luck